this is fixed model exercise this is a uh, second exercise for the mold design and in this exercise we will see how to check the quality of the model's geometry and how to fix problem in it and the first thing what we need to do is open the htm file and, and here we have the start zip and also end zip uh, file the start zip is for you to do the exercise and the end zip file is for you to refer the uh, result so for now i right click the start zip and then select save target as save it into my working folder so for example my working folder is under um, simatron documents and this uh, exercise name is fixed model so i save it in, uh, inside my working folder okay and then uh, open the working folder and this is the zip file, so we open it and drag it out. Yeah, and we need to open this uh, work, uh, this work part. So we just drag it into Simatron. Next, we will start with the check and fix tools. And this tool will give us a check of common geometrical problems. So we go to tools, select this, check and fix entities. Okay, and uh, for now we use visible only and make sure all entities is show. And after that, uh, we select this one, oh sorry, this one, check entities. Problem were found in the check geometry, the results are present in the table. So uh, we have found uh, one small face at here. So this not uh, the problem problematic area, it's the display quality problems and the problem is here. So to solve this, uh, what I call that, uh, the display quality, we can go to view, setting, display quality here and set the uh, quality. So, so this is our problem, uh, problematic area. So in order to fix the <coughs> small face problem, we turn on this. Remove small faces. Okay, and after that, we select this one. Pick entities a button. Okay, and then can close it. So the <coughs> small faces problems are will solve. Okay, next is about uh, remove torrent geometry and we go to analysis, entity information. Okay, and then uh, we change here the selection filter, change to object. Okay, and we select the model. So, uh, this tolerance are larger than uh, we change to 0.03 mm and after that we click this tolerant geometry and do you see the color here uh, it shows us all the area where the distance between the edge is larger than 0.03 mm So uh, we just press middle mouse button to exit from the uh, entity information functions. So um, we go to face and then we select um, unstage and we use option as single end with heal. So this uh, with heal means uh, the tolerance model become a non-tolerant model. 
and after that, uh, we select all face and then right click, select OK. Okay, after that, uh, we will stitch uh, the face back with a torus of 0.03 mm and this means that all of the areas we saw before with a torus larger than 0.03 will now be open. So we go to face and select stitch and we use stitch only and the maximum gap is 0.03. And then we select all faces and after that right click select OK. Okay, in step four we are going to check the open edge. So we can go to analysis, <coughs> open edge analysis, and new open edge analysis. Yeah, and here we have several options. Uh, the first is select by analysis by object and the second one is analyst by selection and the third one is analyst by free edge. So um, for now we are using the analyst by object but before that I want to show you how to uh, create shortcut. So we go to view and uh, customize keyboard and at here we can select um, analysis okay and this one is new open edge analysis and for me the current uh, key is A so I can reset press a new shortcut and then click assign so my uh, shortcut key is A and for the other one is hide or show open edge and uh, for this exercise I recommend use H and after that click assign and you also can uh, change it uh, not exactly follow A and H for the um, shortcut key okay after you assign and then click close so when you press A it will uh, show the open edge analysis uh, tools and for now we analyze by object and select this OK OK now you can see the open edge uh, are marked as, uh, by yellow color and the purple point that um, we will see the several way to deal with this area and fix them so um, we zoom in here we start from here so you can see the uh, you have the open edge so we um, we uh, for this area we use the close open gaps um, tools so face close open gaps and we select the use this same faces options and use the merge on and after that uh, we select one of the edge here okay and after that uh, right click select ok now we select the uh, open edge option open edge uh, analysis again we uh, use analyze by object and then right click select ok so 
you can see that uh, um, yellow curve and the purple points are uh, high and no more already but here also still have because we haven't uh, do the close open gaps okay in step 5 we will trim the face um, we rotate it we will trim uh, this face here so I close the I uh, hide the open edge okay and then um, I go to trim select this one and select this and also this uh, we use trim both options and then click OK. Now we uh, need to verify the face uh, whether it have gaps or not. Uh, we go to Analyst by Selection. Uh, why we cannot use Analyst by Object? Uh, because of the face are not stitched because of the uh, trim option just now we did so uh, we will stitch this all the face uh, together after we finish fixing okay so for this we use analyst by selections and uh, this we change uh, from free selections uh, sorry from the pick faces by indicating split directions, we change to free selections and this ignore assign face, we change to all faces. Okay, and after that, um, select like this and then click OK. So you can see no more the gaps. Okay, and after that, uh, we will do uh, this area. <coughs> this area. So, um, we go to face, select trim, and select this face with the mouse button. And after that, um, we select this close to face options. Maybe I select here. And this I use section options. And then click apply. And this time I use the cross section options. And after that, you can go to face, close open gaps, use same face options. Okay. So this is the result. In step 6, we will um, do for this area. So uh, we select this face and then right click, select hide other. And after that, we select composite curve. Okay. And uh, we use the face extend. We use natural multi uh, multi continuous options. And delta is five. Same face auto direction. And then right click select okay. And we click this and we hide the composite curve and we click the previous button to show reshow the face that we have uh, hidden. Sorry. Okay, after that, uh, select face, trim, select this and also this. We use trim both options. Then select OK. And 
which we select this analysis by selection. So no more the open uh, gaps. And for this phase, uh, we can use a uh, phase modify by schedule. So uh, we drag it. Okay, like this. After that, as it's schedule, and then we go to phase trim. Trim both options and right click select OK. So this is another technique to extend the face. So we check the face. OK. And uh, we use by list by object. So you can see here still have the open gaps and here also same. So uh, we can go to face, close open gaps and select the edge, right click, select apply and also this one. Okay. After we done this, we go to face stage, right click, select OK. And then to so analyze by object again. So the message come out that says uh, the object is closed, no open uh, edge exit. And OK. So this is the result.